Welcome back everybody to the YouTube channel, the home inspection YouTube channel. Interesting day, rainy day. And what I always like to tell everyone in the home inspect or getting a home inspection, they're like, oh, do we need a reschedule? Nope. It's very good that we're inspecting your house during the rain. That's where we find all the leaks. But good for you, not so much for me because I just get, get very wet. Upcoming news, we have a new t-shirt line coming out here soon for home inspection whisperer stuff so that's actually pretty exciting uh, I'm having a meeting with some and that was some lightning <laughs> I have a meeting with someone after uh, this inspection at 2 o'clock and we're going to we are going to uh, design some shirts and they should be for sale on the website here soon and maybe Amazon I'm not really sure exactly how we're gonna set it up and then uh, the next thing is I'm recording a podcast with Clayton. So keep an eye out for that too as well. So it's a very busy day. Home inspection, t-shirt line, and home inspection. So home inspection, that's what this vlog is for. We have a 1960s property. It looks like it's been flipped. I have not been inside yet. Tyler, Inspector Tyler's in there and he's in there already working and moving around. So let's go see what he's found and let's go check it out. Okay, uh, starting on the roof after my quick pass on the interior. Got a pretty good first impression on the interior. Looks like they someone uh, took a lot of pride in this house and they did a good job uh, with remodeling it. Uh, remember, don't make that your final opinion. If you get that first impression, always look further. So that first impression is like, hey, they might be doing a good job and then we'll go from there. So start on the roof. Uh, roof looks really good. Yes, I do lock roofs if it is safe uh, during the rain. Uh, we just we test it before we walk up there and make sure you know our feet stick and we're not sliding around or slipping. Um, but anyways, the roof looks really good. I mean, all the flashing's been replaced, shingles brand new, the ridge vent looks good. They added in a little bit of extra ventilation, all the uh, plumbing boots replaced. The only thing that I, is a little questionable with me right now that looks a little off is the chimney. And the advantage of that, right now it's raining and we'll be able to use our infrared cameras on the interior to see if we have any actual water leaks coming in. If it wasn't raining, I mean, we wouldn't be able to do that. So, yeah, it's raining. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. So, um, after the roof, uh, we're going to do the exterior fast and I'll let you know if we find anything there. Take that back. Tyler spotted something. I was just running around rambling with the camera. So the lead sleeves are a little higher than the actual plumbing stack themselves. So we're going to write that up saying that it's recommended to fold it in. It's one of those corrections where the lead plumbing stack has to be six inches tall uh, to meet current code, right? But there's a gap right here where water can get in and it can damage the property. So it's actually better to install the, the boot correctly and just kind of have a minor code violation on the roof. Okay, walking around the exterior of the property, um, the first thing I notice is the brick is painted white and the foundation perimeter beam is pr painted white too. So you really want to keep an eye on this because this is what people do to cover up foundation issues but they also do it for cosmetic reasons so don't automatically assume that it's going to be a foundation issue but it's just something to kind of keep in the back of your head whenever you're looking at the property uh, the next thing too is sticking out to me is that we have it looks like we still might have cast iron plumbing we don't have any previous reports or anything like this so whenever you see this we automatically in the houston texas area i definitely recommend to do a hydrostatic test because these pipes fall apart pretty quickly I'd say right around the 50 year mark they start to fall apart and break which in eventually causes the foundation movement because you have a lot of excessive water entering underneath the structure so uh, so far that's it what I see on the back side of the pro on the side of the property just keep an eye out for that cast iron plumbing the next thing I notice on the back side is we have this deck right up against the side of the structure and uh, um, it is nice, you do have gutters along the top here, and, uh, and it's kind of preventing a lot of moisture along the edge of the property of getting into the structure. But what bothers me is I cannot see the foundation perimeter beam 
uh, that could maybe allow termites to the structure. And then if you look along the wood here, if they did any type of preventative treatment, you would see like drill holes here. So we have everything they want, right? Shade, moisture, wood. So there's a chance that there could be a possibility of termites here. So as a termite inspector, what we always recommend to do is a preventative treatment along the edge. Um, on the inside, I didn't see any evidence of termites, but what this will do is make me look closer on the inside of the structure too as well. Um, another thing too, we're inspecting during the rain and you can start to see like water lines coming around this gutter. And we always recommend for counter flashing, even with brick. And you can see here how the wall continues and the roof line stops. So this can allow water uh, be a penetration point for water into the structure. So we're going to recommend to add out, add in kick out flashing and clean out the gutter in this area to prevent any type of damage. And you just look a little closer here. Can, it's still pretty solid. You also have like an electrical outlet here, so you know water electricity don't mix. So an easy improvement right there to help prevent water uh, getting into the structure. Another positive sign is we have a, a newer panel box and a generator hookup. Uh, Tyler opened that up already and he said it looks good inside, so that's that's a plus. But also remember we have this uh, the brick painted all the way along the back too. And I say this in a lot of my videos, but make sure that you, you know, you could still, even with the brick painted, you can look down that brick line and see how it looks. Does it look straight? You know, that's a good way to get past, past uh, um, if they're covering up any cracks or uh, uh, deflection on the property. And I'm not really seeing that today. This looks pretty good. The next item is uh, we have PVC drain lines installed on the exterior of the structure. This is the master bathroom. So they looks like they have done some improvements for the underground drain lines. So this is where we're going to coach the clients on getting any paperwork or any warranty that might be involved with this work and we'll see how extensive it is. Hope maybe part of the upgrades of the property they got rid of all the cast iron which would be fantastic. Check this out. The uh, we also have a brand new train 2017 AC unit. I mean, this this property is looking better and better every corner I turn. You also have like a mosquito misting system. You have a sprinkler system too as well. And that sprinkler system looks pretty new. Oh, and there was a water softener on the other side of the structure. So you got a new panel box, water softener, a mosquito misting system, a brand new AC and uh, a repaired, I mean, you can tell some sort of work's been done on the sprinkler system. Whoever owned this property really took care of it. Okay, uh, the second pass of the outside of the property, what we always do is do a wide pass. And the thing that you really notice is there, you know, the, um, the grading to the structure is really good, especially for the age. Everything is graded away. They have some surface drains over here around the corner. They added in rock uh, along the perimeter and there's that surface drain I was talking about right there. French drain, whatever you want to call it. And look, it's French drain right here. So this structure uh, is graded properly too, which can help prevent any foundation movement, which is, this is, I really like this one. This is a nice house. So an update real quick on that termite story on my most recent podcast. And it's actually on the very beginning of the podcast, so if you wanna know what I'm talking about, just go and look at the podcast and just listen to the first 15 minutes of it or so. Um, the home buyer filed a complaint with the Texas Department of Agriculture, and it turns out the guy wasn't even licensed. So, yeah, that's, that's uh, I don't know where they're gonna go from there, but. Uh, I don't think it's going to go good for uh, the Orkin inspector. All right, coming into the attic space. Uh, we always write this up. <laughs> it's, always, it's always not done, but insulate the attic door. Um, but coming in up here, we have a... Let me see if I can get the camera to adjust. Set this over here. We got a, a newer furnace, which is really nice. Uh, coils. Um, you have new insulation across the attic space across the attic space the uh the overall roof structure um tyler crawled around 
up here and uh, it looks pretty good. You have new ducts to the structure too as well. I mean, this is really nice. Oh shit, almost fell. There you go, new ducts. You have an, an old filter back there. And I think he said the water heater is all the way back there, which is gonna be obviously something we have to ride up. Oh, it's a tankless. It's hard to get back there, but you know, uh, you need easy access to your your water heater, but also you have the age of the property too as well, right? So I think he made a compromise. Hey guys, I'm going through this inspection. Please take the time and hit that subscribe button and help grow the channel. Our, my goal was to try to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but it's not looking too hot. But hey, 6,000 is still pretty good for the home inspection market. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for following. Anytime that we have a uh, shower where the tile is level with the structure and the shower's been upgraded, or any tile shower actually, we always like to do a shower pan test. We don't have one of our fancy shower pan testers, but we do have a piece of paper. So paper works just as good. What we do is we fill it up with an inch or two inches of water and we let it sit there for a while and then we see if it leaks into the bedroom or the exterior of the structure. Uh, so let's see what happens. While in the bathroom waiting for that shower pan, one thing with these tubs is you always really want to nudge them or bump them. A lot of contractors uh, just set them on the ground and attach the drain. So you'll be able to actually just like pick it up with your hand. This one's obviously installed well. I just want to inform you to keep an eye out on these types of tubs. Okay, I pulled the drain plug. So we're going to look around the exterior of the shower pan and in the master here. So we're going to look here. We're also going to do a visual and then we're going to use an infrared camera too as well to see if uh, we had any water leak. Not seeing anything along the back it's obviously raining but you would actually see it like coming out the weep holes and uh, the foundation perimeter beam would be a little bit more wet we can't see along the deck here but uh, let's see if it really is leaking we'd catch it on the infrared camera on the uh, exterior wall right there check this out he has a FLIR E8 kind of jealous he gets a good one all right here we go um, all right, we're not seeing anything show up through the wall here, so it's nice. One thing you need to know about infrared cameras here is uh, you will not get a good reading off of this type of tile. It won't show up, it's very reflective, and uh, the infrared camera won't pick it up very well. But if it was, if the shower pan was leaking, you would see it along this back wall right here. And here's the scan around the chimney. I'm not really getting anything, so that's good. Looking good. Okay, so I wish I could give you a, a little bit more interesting property here, but other than the fact that this one looks really good, um, you know, they replace the panel box, replace the water heater, replace the furnace, coils. Uh, the roof has been replaced, foundation looks solid, you know, the attic has been updated since 1960s. Uh, really the major problems that we see on this one is the lack of kick, kick out flashing in the area that I talked about before, right here on the corner of the property. And then also um, the cast iron plumbing, you know, the cast iron plumbing, we definitely want them to get a hydrostatic test and get a quote on if it needs to be repaired or not so they understand what they're walking into. But even if they have to replace that cast iron plumbing on this structure, you're, it's gonna be really hard to find something that's been upgraded and updated this well on a property this old. So if that's like one of the major things that you're gonna have to tackle moving into a structure like this, you're in pretty good shape. I mean, obviously budget changes with everyone, so you wanna make sure it fits in your budget, but that's still pretty good for an old property how much this one's been updated. So. Uh, that's Chris with the Action. If you like these types of videos, please hit that like and subscribe button and uh, keep an eye out for the shirts and uh, support the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.